buddy. Mr. Doug, it's your turn, bud. Let's do a quick reference here. We're gonna use a 5,000 watt coaxial dynamic slug in PEP today. Five watt slug in reverse. The 955 going into the two pill, kicking into your SB220. Now, I did a bunch of different things in here. I went in and I repaired a bunch of stuff. This is part of your plate chokes or your grid chokes on the bottom of the amplifier. And so are these. Now, I left this little eyelet on there because you were telling me how one of the tubes was taken off on you. It's taken 100% of the punishment. Well, one of these chokes had opened up and left the grid open. And this capacitor wasn't even attached to the ground, sitting there floating in free space. So I went underneath and I cleaned up the entire bottom side of the box and I grounded the grids and made it all pretty. And replaced all them parts with new, better from this decade stuff. And the other thing I went in and I did is I replaced your parasitics. I put some a little bit more modern, a little bit more clean parasitics in here and modernized the choke system. The other thing I did is I took the faceplate off and fixed your grid, high volt, and relative power meter. So now they all fully functional. And good. Hello, hello, hello. They're all reading accurate, right, and true. So that's back up 100%. The other thing I did is I also took your fan completely apart. It was sitting there going, and it was all full of crap and shit. So I took the whole motor out and cleaned it. Sonic treated it and then went ahead and re-oiled and redid all the bushings in it. Now it's whisper quiet again, bud. So all being said, um, I went and replaced one single piece of high bolt lead on it. And your aftermarket little capacitor bank in here looks good. The aftermarket Peter Dahl transformer in here is working great. And we're gonna just hit this with, uh, shut the two pill off. Just gonna hit this with the 955 real quick. Hello, audio. Now your input tune on this box, by the way, was horrible. Deplorably horrible. And I couldn't get it more to do than 300 watts with the 955 hidden in. That's 80 watts of drive. Ever. 300 watts. So remember that 10 mark is 1,000 watts. This is with 80 watts of drive, bud. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. And that's on a low setting. Of that Peter Dahl technology. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. That's on high. And if you mess around with it and play with the tune load, you can get it so it does about 800 watts of 80 watts of drive. So you got the 10 to 1 out of it, just the way it's supposed to be. We're going to drive this a little bit. We put about 220 watts worth of drive, and let's see what happens. Fifteen hundred watts, no problem. High setting. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. Now I'll reach over here. I'm going to run the variable up a little bit on this. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. Now that's not as impressive as you'd think. So we're going to pull out the five K slug. We're going to put the 1K slug in a spot. 1,000 watt. All right. Hundred fifty watt dead key. Now, going to bury it in a corner. Turn on the 2X multiplier. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. It's about 1800 watts on the low setting. Go to the high setting, of course, at 
3,000 plus volts. Oh, in the corner. Now it becomes impressive. Go down to the 5X, make it read just like that 5,000 watt slug I first showed you. Hello, audio. 2,500 watts. The SP220 is right. The other mod I did is I made sure to punch a hole right here for you. You pop this plate out, think, and you'll be able to go in here with an Allen wrench. And by the way, use a non-conductive one and adjust your input tune. That's all there is to it. If you're fully modded, man, you're fixed up. I'm gonna pull my 3500Zs out of this thing. I'm gonna take the caps off the tube and send them in a little separate baggie. Slide the armor back on it, but man, you're set up and ready to go. My name is BBI, and without a doubt, I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. Come check us out, www.bbiamps.com. Brother Doug. I appreciate you sending this little thing up to me. I love working on SB220s. If you got an SB220 out there and you need to get it fixed, you send it here. I got the people. Between Michelle and Peter at EPD Electronics, I got the people, I got the parts, I got the connections. I will fix your SB220. Send it to Idaho. We will take care of you. Bump, bump from the biggest mud duck in Idaho. I'll see you. Bye.